While many of us are anticipating the mega hit releases of games like The Last of Us Part 2 and Ghost of Tsushima, it often becomes pretty easy to overlook the many more niche Japanese games that release each month. While E3 is now spread thin across many events, there's still ways to get excited about upcoming games. Here are 5 things you need to know about June 2020 releases. This month we're seeing new console re-releases for Nihon Falcom titles, East Memories of Celsetta on PS4 and Trails of Cold Steel 3 on Nintendo Switch. The last time you were able to play Memories of Celsetta on console was on the PS Vita earlier in the decade. The new release includes both English and Japanese audio options. Similarly, Trails of Cold Steel 3 is releasing on Switch in preparation for the fourth game's release later in the year. Cold Steel 3 is the point at which Nihon Falcom feels they finally achieved the desired aesthetic for the series, having struggled with moving the series into full 3D in earlier games. Studio president Toshihiro Kondo mentioned in an interview that he's always pushing for re-releases because he doesn't want all the developers' hard work to be forgotten as consoles phase out of relevance. East Memories of Salsetta launches in the US on June 9th, while Chels of Cold Steel 3 launches June 30. Brigandine The Legend of Runeja is one of those games that the more you find out, the more you think, how on earth haven't I heard of this? Firstly, it's a sequel to a PlayStation 1 grand strategy RPG from 1998, which allows you to fight as one of six different nations with their own unique characters. Secondly, those characters are designed by writer Kazuma, an artist who excels at fantasy and designed the aliens for Xenoblade Chronicles X. Thirdly, the story is written by Kenji Terada, the writer for the first three Three Final Fantasy games. And you can try out the game's demo right now to see if this mix of creators is for you. Brigandine is out June 25th. Once upon a time, the PS Vita was considered the go-to place for Otome games and visual novels in general. Although the console was more niche in the West, there's a massive amount of games that excelled in Japan by being Vita exclusives. But once the Vita was phased out, Nintendo swooped in, working with publisher Idea Factory to establish the Nintendo Switch as the Otome game platform. Nintendo's Japanese website even has an entire page dedicated to them. This month we're seeing the re-release of Color Malice on the Switch, an Otome title where you have to solve crimes and make allies, leading you through a branching narrative. The sequel is also coming to the West later in the year. The art in the games is created by Mai Hanamura, known for the Amnesia franchise, which also got a 2013 anime adaptation. Polar Malice launches June 25th. When we think of Game Freak, our first reaction is Pokemon, and our second is Nintendo. But Game Freak is an independent company capable of developing and releasing their own titles whenever they want. Part of this is the studio's in-house pitching process, letting employees start their own individual projects like Harmonite and Giga Wrecker. But more recently, they went a bit bolder with a non-Pokemon project with Little Town Hero, which is now releasing on PS4. It initially was a digital exclusive, but the new release features an easy mode for those who had an issue with the game's wild difficulty spikes. Little Town Hero launches June 23rd. Death Come True is perhaps the most interesting game in this video, and at the same time, it's the one least likely to be regarded as a game. This is an FMV title where you essentially sit back, watch a movie, and make choices for your scared protagonist, who has apparently committed a murder that he can't remember. The game is launching with subtitles in a whole bunch of languages. It was announced today that Death Come True will be releasing first on Switch and mobile devices June 25th. Thanks for watching Otaquest in Japan. Feel free to subscribe to find out more about the art and creation of Japanese pop culture.